but, but Mr. Moni, um, what because you communicate for government directly, are we I, being told? I communicate for the party. Fantastic. Why, why do we have the situation we have? Is it, it, um, you see, um, communicate for the party. I said I communicate for the party. Your government is in power. Oh, the government is in power. So, what's but the difference? It, it, it's for clarity. I'm not a government spokesperson. It should be clear. Yeah. yeah. It should be clear. So I'm you not. Can speak for government. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. And then. I uh, can't understand what you said. Yes, that there is a party and there is a government. I think the distinction will always have to be clear, right? And then, as I said, I communicate. I'm a I'm a regional assistant secretary. I am not a government spokesperson. Um, um, however, um, however, um, however. The NPP's um, 2024 Manifesto Committee on Energy, I served as a secretary, and that this is actually my field that I play, of which you know, because we've been, we've been meeting on several fora, so you know. First I of all, yes, yes. That. First of all, it must be stated clearly that um, government owning IPPs is nothing new, but the, the statement that we are going to be plunged in darkness is absolutely not correct and that it is not happening the npp government have kept the power for eight years and three weeks or two weeks to an, an election it's not a time for us to be experiencing or to plunge the country into any darkness this is so because we are not even experiencing load management not to talk about load shedding mm. right the national wheelers being grateful have not even given any indication of load management for for the retail comp or the distribution company ecg to even give an indication of a load shedding. Mm. So there's absolutely nothing like that happening. You see, energy powers the country. Energy powers the economy. And then it's a lifeline. Anything that is a lifeline of every economy has two distinct factors. You always have the economic bit and then you always have the political bit. Fantastic. You always have the economic bit and you always have the political bit. Government indeed owes the IPPs. Government initially was finding it very difficult in paying the IPPs. For this reason, government in August 2020 brought a, mecha a mechanism called the cash waterfall mechanism to ensure that these people are well paid or they are paid as and when we consume power. Because when you look at the power value chain, we have the generators, we have the national wheelers, that is the transmission, we have the distribution, and then those are the retail end. So the money comes from the retail end and then pays all the people along the line up to the generators who eventually also pay their, their, food, their, their people. Government instituted that so that any money that comes, everybody would receive as it does or as a deal him. When I went to the PRC website and I wanted to check uh, how the cash waterfall mechanism have been implemented, I realized that indeed as of July 2024, the committee is yet to meet and then to approve any, any source of finance to them. Mm -hmm. That is what I realized that was the main challenge that is causing these um, I don't understand. IPPs. The cash waterfall system is money that drops into a kitty. Yes. Into a and then so when you committee, pay, you, you appropriate no, appropriately. A, a committee then meets and the committee then uh, do the disbursement. You can see this is the July one. You can, you can, you can take a look at it. This is the July cash waterfall mechanism. Even with this, the review that is going on, I have made several proposals because I do not believe that we need to separate category A and category B, mm -hmm. where category A people are paid 70% of the amount that, that comes. Mm -hmm. And then the category B being the state SOEs only share 30%. I'm of the view that right from the, right from the point of purchase, mm -hmm. every money should go to, should go to all each, the IPPs in equal each proportion. Generator. Yes, each, each generator in equal proportion not to distinguish among them, of which uh, the MPP manifesto clearly have captured that and then we believe that digitalization or make, propo uh, proposing that solution is the way to go. As I was saying, the, for the country to experience load shedding, for instance, it means that the peak or the system's peak must be more than the power that we receive that the generators produce, that is the installed capacity. As we speak now, although Senor Asogli have sat down, certain down about 540 megawatts, we still have a buffer of more than 1,300, right? And that is why the country is not experiencing the darkness as we have to. This is not to say that they are not, they are not supposed to be paid, no. As I said, government owing the IPPs is nothing new. And government must always show continuous support and continuous... Uh, so the question I ask you, why do they owe them, knowing that promises were made 
the first time the announcement was made. Mr. Money, why? The, why the, did they owe them? You see, forget about the cash water four system. The cash water four plays a, a plays plays a role. You cannot neglect that. You see, whatever power we consume, right? Whatever power we consume at the retail section, the money we pay is what is used in paying all the actors, including these IPPs. Now the problem arises. It's just like within the petroleum downstream industry. When these IPPs are buying products, I'm giving an example, buying products, they buy in dollars, meaning they buy their gas and all those fuels in dollars. When they are trans the transmission person is doing, the transmission, the wheelers are doing their work, it's calculated in dollars. Mm. When the distributors are doing, it's calculated in dollars. But any time it comes to the retail section, it's always, it's always in city, which means that there is always a forex differential, a forex loss. differential loss there. You understand? And then also, the amount, we've seen ECG, I'm talking about the southern part, being the largest, uh, the largest distribution company, always complaining about MMDAs and then some individuals and some companies not paying their light bill as they used to. When those bottlenecks are, arise, it means that the money to, be, uh, to pay IPPs will not be there because you must pay what you consume. If you're not paying what you consume, then definitely there is going to be, there is going to be what? There is going to be a deficit, right? And then, when you read the cash water for mechanism, it says that wherever there is a deficit, then it means that the Ministry of Finance would have to show up. But we all know the current the current circumstances that we find ourselves. What are the current circumstances we the find ourselves? Circumstances that because we, find we collect ourselves. the money. So what are the current we, circumstances? Money? That is why I was showing you an example that when you look at the projection that the e, uh, the EC, the ECG makes monthly and it's the estimated um, revenue generation. They don't get there. They are usually commercial losses. They are usually technical losses. They don't get. They don't use. To, they don't get the amount that they are supposed to get, and that accounts for those deficits. That accounts for those deficits. And so, if you are able to show up, or if you are able to meet the 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 revenue generation targets, then these IPPs are all going to be paid. And mind you, these the, the some of the debt happens to be in the form of um, uh, uh, legal uh, legacy debt. For instance, we read the IMF issue in January says that within that sector government owes about 1.6 billion and it keeps accumulating all due to some contracts and all those things which have been signed that the government is still obliged to be paying you understand so those things have been going on for now but as i said what is important is government's commitment and government have shown enough commitment i'm i'm aware and i speak authoritatively authoritatively on this that i'm aware that the minister of Fi uh, finance have met all these ipps and i'm equally aware that the the the, uh, the the president or the chairman of the chamber of IPPs, Elikem, right? Who said? Who, who, um, who's, who's uh, uh, I think that he is the head of Sona Sogli, and then the also chamber. The oh, okay, chamber, the chamber of uh, the that's chamber. Uh, Dr. Uh, Elikem. Yeah, Doctor, yes, Dr. Okay. Elikem. Yes, uh, Dr. Elikem. Mm. I'm aware because when he was uh, when he was asked that he should mention the three IPPs who are saying that he should shut down, mm. they, or they are going to shut down. He said that he, it remains confidential. Okay. It cannot be confidential because when Sona Asogli decided to go or to shut down their plant, it mm. was not confidential. They just came out and said they were going to shut down. So if these three IPPs indeed wanted to shut down, they would... They, they, but now, but now are you saying the chamber is lying? I'm not saying the chamber is so what lying. Are you saying? No, I'm just saying that his views perhaps might not refre reflect the views of all those IPPs within that chamber. That is what I'm saying. Right, and, and then I heard Institute of um, uh, Energy Security equally making or equally training that line. But I know, I know, I know them. They, they are head is even a mate, a colleague of mine. We did it. Yes, he's a colleague of mine. And so, when you look at the trajectory and then where the communications are coming from, that is why I said that there is always a political bit to energy consumption or energy production within every every nation. So when I look at those things coming up from there, mm -hmm. then I, I I just get the the whole thing that this is the politics aspect of energy. Perhaps are you saying not that the really the economic IPPs, aspect of are you energy. saying <laughs> the statement you're making uh far reaching are you saying the IPPs mm -hmm. are playing politics as of now? No, I, when I when I began my submission I said that I'm beginning beginning it from two fronts the economic bit and the politics out of it. You can never associate politics from energy globally. You mean you it cannot disassociate all, yes it's always there. So Energy I asked the corresponding question. Are you saying that the IPPs, Omumia government, and I, I mean, is, oh, is that no, what no, you are no, saying? No, no, They have to be paid what is due them. Okay. They have to so be paid what is due them. So why do you then say that it's politics? But I am equally saying that we have a lot of IPPs. We have a lot. In fact, okay. out of the six 
IPPs, only one have shut down. And I'm saying that the person who shut down his views does not reflect the other five. I'm talking about the category A, not even bring the SOEs, the, the state owning uh, uh, IPPs, mm. does not reflect the views of the others. Mm. The one that shut down said that he wanted some $60 million, which is on record, and government through the Ministry of Finance and then ECG were unable to meet it. So he decided to shut down. And I'm saying that although he shut down, the others are also operating, which means that they indeed have confidence in government that indeed they are owed. But through the cash water for mechanisms and then through the other ways that government is, 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 uh, is pursuing, they are going to be paid. And what is important is that they get paid. For instance, I always have this analogy I normally give, that when I owe you, when I owe you, let's say, 10,000 CDs, right, and then I give you 10 pesos every day, 10 pesos every day, you, only, you always have confidence that indeed you want the 10th CD that I owe you. I am going to pay. Mm -hmm. That will be, you will treat me quite different from somebody who you owe 10 CD and doesn't pay you anything. And as I speak now, the cash water for mechanism, no, no matter the, the revenue that accrued, everybody gets a share. And I believe that is enough commitment for them to operate within the space. The Ministry of Finance, which make the promises and then does the negotiations, is not telling them when it intends to pay them. It's the money. <laughs> when? Because... The basic thing is they need their money, their kudi, to be able to buy the fuel and generate for Ghanaians. Uh, what are you getting? I know for, you have yes, Ministry uh, of Energy, because, cash water for... Because I have issues with the table you just presented. No, no, no. Before, before that... Are you please, saying that we are lying? I'm not saying you are lying. I said I have issues. That okay. I have issues. I have issues. You see... I have no that, issues. Before, this, this, these are system no, conditions. Be, we... Before I go, I go into that, I want to encourage my... My senior man here to read the NPP manifesto. If you read the NPP manifesto, page 179, you will know the NPP's promise for nuclear energy. Already we are at the we are at the point of choosing the technology to use, whether to go the US way or the Chinese way you to select a vendor. To if he you takes his time to, to read our manifesto, no, no, you will no. get to know what we are me. doing. Secondly, said, is Dr. Bonnier the talking secondly, about it? Is it your manifesto? Secondly, is about this is the so this is this is for? this is Please. this is well, Bonnier's commitment to the people of Ghana. This is his commitment to the people of Ghana. When you read it, you will know all the things that he wants to do for the people of Ghana. The second thing is also to tell him when he that talk about when we say that we he wants to bring in two thousand solar energy, right? If he really understands, I know he understands it. He would know that we have mini grids and off grids as far as solar is concerned. This is also even good. This is even a private led stuff. For instance, if government decides, government decides that if you take the whole of Legon, it, cons it consumes, let's say, 38 megawatts of power. But when you check their, their lightning system, only their lightning system consumes 15. So, okay, let's put all those 15 megawatts of power on solar energy. It creates a deficit as far as those from the the base load and then the thermal energies are concerned. That is what he's talking about. And then also, as the philosophy of the NPP, everything that we do is private-led. Everything that we do is private-led. He is talking about tax. Of course, when these things have to be done, definitely the tax reforms and the tax the, the, the tax things around it would have to be reviewed. Now, back to your topic. I know that um, the car power, I know that they are operating at 15% due to an operational problem because uh, they have a faulty valve of which they've contacted the Ghana Gas Company and that the engineers are already in town to go and fix it. Also, Amandi gave an indication of their shutdown long before this, uh, this uh, Dr. Elikem spoke about uh, the power, the power, the power, the financial issues within the, that they are going to shut down and it was due to planned maintenance, planned maintenance. So already all those things have been factored in. And as I was saying, uh, uh, I hear people talk about, um, uh, my brother was alluding to some, some statistics as far as Forex is concerned. See, in 2013, Ghana's total size of our economy was... You haven't answered my question, no. so let me repose my question. Perhaps <laughs> no, no, maybe no. that's... No, no, no. Uh, I have to, um, I, so I the question know, I, I asked you, how you want based, to, on, based on I, the I don't know how you want me to answer because I have told you. Okay, I have so told the you. Ministry of Finance, I have told we you. know that over the period has been meeting the IPPs mm -hmm. and making promises. I'm saying that mm -hmm. for this latest deductions we have to make mm -hmm. based on what they are producing and what the, what the demands are, mm -hmm. when would they be paid? And at I'm, least advanced no, payment no, no. so that we know when that you, when we're going to have stability. When, when you were speaking, when you initially, 
before we start, you said that the Ministry of Finance have made some $35 million payments to these IPPs out of the 260 that they owe them. So where was that coming from? As far as the ministry is concerned, the ministry will keep uh, doing its, its, its obligation as far as those payments are concerned. Now back to the table you, 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 you showed. I do not know the source, the source of that table. Honestly speaking. And then as a, a are you disputing the source of the table? These are, these are what they call I the, will the system conditions. The of the, that is I will always want to see the source of that table. Once I do not, I do not see the source. I can never speak to the authenticity. Of so that. you're saying we're lying. I'm not saying you're lying. I okay, said, okay. Answer, answer my question then. Okay. When, when would they be paid? Question in several forms. When would they be paid? The current, the current that we have. When, when would they be advanced have, money? I have told you that the Ministry of Finance is meeting them. The cash water for team is sitting, and then be, uh, payment that is due everyone would be paid. As to the exact timeline, as today or tomorrow, I cannot tell. But I know that they are doing it. And I've also stated that a car power operating at 15% has nothing to do with finance. It is an operational issue, it's a technical issue, which has to do with a faulty valve. They have reported the matter to G Ghana National Gas Company, and the engineers are there working on it. These are factual. That is why I said that, you see, for energy, for, for when you understand the energy bit, you always understand the political undertone within the ener energy, within the, within the energy sector. You understand? You always get to, you always have to get that. But also, let me clarify this. You see, when I was speaking, and then I, I said that power, as far as the revenue collection was concerned, my brother here was saying that what were the measures that we've instituted. You see, we, the, we brought something we call the boundary metering system. The boundary metering system, it's, let me give you a, a practical example. No, I'm speaking to the issue. I am speaking to, I don't know what you want me to say. You have two minutes. You understand? I don't know what, we, I'm not singing your tune. That's why you are not, yes. You see, the boundary metering system, let's say if the whole of TV3, you have, you have let's say, a, a transformer. There will be a meter there to calculate the amount of power that comes. And then also we will be able to, when you know you are receiving, let's Ceremony. say, 5,000 We don't have light. You are thinking of boundary metering there system. There is no doom song going. When we say do, that, we, why, why is doom song? My brother here was talking about he having uh, uh, issues. Of course, the fact that we, we have air power in excess does not mean we are not going to have uh, some places, some lights going off. But when those happens, that's, have he called the ECG? Because EG, ECG, as I was talking to, I was just looking at, at I was just looking at their horse page where they give daily updates as to areas where they have fault and as to areas where the faults are coming from. Gridco. They do, they do, they, 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 they do, they do, they do give those things. So has he reported those matters to the ECG? Let's be factual in our presentation. You understand the fact that perhaps our quest for political power or our quest to promote. Uh, uh, political somebody's political agenda that's not me we should not stick to the facts we should stick to the fact we should always stick to the fact that is what that is what is important and the fact is, right and the fact is that we are not experiencing any doom so anywhere the doom so that we experience under john mahama is that this doom so that we have been operating last time i was operating an fm station at, at my at my at my constituency. Vision, vision, vision FM. 